<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? So uh, I'm back in my uh, my dungeon, as it were, and um, I've got another sim rig slash studio update for you. I thought I'd go a little bit more in depth on this one. Um, what I'm basically trying to do is have uh, like a complete F-18 cockpit setup going on here, and uh, I'm getting closer. All right, so check this out. So I've already showed you guys the wind wing stuff. This is the wind wing uh, UFC and HUD assembly. This is the wind wing uh, AMPCD or, you know, NIP panels. Uh, but around all that are 3D printed uh, dash kits. So I've got the left dash, I've got the HUD box, I've got the HUD projector, you know, the right dash. And these all come, come from uh, absolutely awesome Etsy page. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It's uh, Hornet Sim Shop on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description and probably pop it up on the screen right here. But uh, these are absolutely top notch. I 3D printed these out of PLA. They took forever and a day, each of them, because of how big they are. I even ended up buying an Ender 3 S1 Plus so I could put them on the bed. So that's what the panels are now mounted to to make it look more like an F-18 dashboard. And if you look at the game, we're pretty spot on. Um, you might be looking at this and you might be thinking, Eric, you're missing some stuff compared to the, uh, the game's dash. And you're right. Luckily, I have some placeholders here. Uh, Hornet Sim Shop on Etsy is going to be providing uh, do-it-yourself kits or pre-assembled kits for uh, all of the, uh, all of these panels. And they will be 100% functional using DCS BIOS. So make sure you guys check out the shop because the uh, craftsmanship and quality here is absolutely incredible. I'm still waiting on some extra stuff from Amazon to mount these, but I've got the left enunciator cover here, I'm waiting on the threaded inserts. And he specifies exactly which ones you need to buy on Amazon. So super excited for all that to come out. He's coming out with an IFEI, pre-assembled, uh, really just great, awesome quality. Guy does good work. All right, guys. So this is a uh, Hornet Sim Shots Etsy page. I uh, thought I'd show you guys really quick. Uh, this is what I ended up purchasing, but he has a uh, because it's the Win Wing compatible. Uh, he is going to be coming out with more Win Wing compatible stuff, or or you can get these uh, DIY packages as well, or pre printed. Uh, looks like he's going to be coming out with a HUD projector, and that's amazing. Um, you can get the uh, the Cougar MFD compatible side panels. Um, you can get just the visors, uh, Jettison Select assembly, uh, the Win Wing UFC housing. Uh, you can get it pre-printed. Basically, yeah, the guy's got a lot of stuff. Very cool. Now these gray bits I printed in resin because I wanted them to look prettier. But I mean, just the the attention to detail that this guy put into these uh, STLs is incredible. Now I wrapped these panels in a carbon fiber vinyl I found on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Not the best quality stuff, but it does the job. Kind of makes it look less like it was printed in PLA. But uh, hey, let's do a cold and dark start in this thing from my perspective. So guys, first thing I always do is I come over here and I push that button to close my canopy. Then I come down to my throttles and I make sure they're separated before I turn on this switch to turn on my battery. And this switch to start my APU. Green light. So then I come down here and I start my right engine. We're good, so I come over to my throttle, move the right one forward, and then once that level's off at around 65%, I move along. I have this button right here bound to master caution reset. All right, we can crank the left engine now, so left. And while that fires up, we're gonna come over here and turn on our DDIs. I'm gonna come over to the center here, we turn on our UFC brightness, turn on our HUD brightness, and then the AMPCD is just a rotary. The jet likes to yell at me at this point. And you can see those are all lit up on the game screen and they're lit up here. So, you know, I'm gonna go to menu, menu twice, FCS on this page, I'm gonna go to HSI. Um, I need to turn my radar to operational, INS to ground, and then I can come back over here, select my stored heading, 
move that left engine, and then this knob, I rotate around to illuminate my consoles, and this I illuminate my throttle. So then I come up to my UFC here and I do IFF on, data link on, data link two on, tack in on um, one x-ray. You can see the AMPCD map just popped up, which I hate. Uh, I need to go back up to the game because I don't have a button bound for RWR, but now if I come back down here, Menu, EW, put that on the HUD, go to the SA page, I go to my stores pages, it's just, it's so cool guys. So again guys, these are the Win Wing uh, MFDs, this is the UFC HUD assembly, this and then all of this around that came from uh, Hornet Sim Shop. I purchased the STLs, downloaded and printed them, and they work flawlessly. And also, you guys may have noticed the new microphone. It's the Rode Pod mic. And then down here is my Go XLR and my leg. And I use a cloud lifter despite what everyone says about not needing one because you have to turn the gain up so high to barely pick up your voice. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's what it looks like when I call in Dark Start one of these things from uh, my perspective and why I love this stuff so much because it's really freaking cool but hey that's gonna wrap it up for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you did don't forget to hit the like button subscribe comment all that fun shit i'll get back with you guys with another update once i have more of this assembled